land while in police custody in Texas has ignited a firestorm in social media. The anger is fueled by the YouTube video showing the 28-year-old being arrested just outside. Suspects in San Bernardino's mass shooting identified. Police say the suspects, 28-year-old Syed Rizwan Farouk and 27-year-old Tashfeen Malik, were shot dead in this black SUV at the end of a massive man. Police are calling a hate crime at a historic South Carolina church. Right now, police are in pursuit of this gunman. This image is being released of the suspect. Police say dozens of people have been killed in shootings and explosions in and around Paris. The attacks are among the deadliest the country has experienced in decades. Chicago demonstrators planning a major protest this morning over the shooting death of 17-year-old Laquan McDonald, a black teenager killed by a white police officer. This is leaders there push for a federal investigation into the Chicago Police Department. You know, I'm a believer, and I try to believe in the promises of God. And I know that since the beginning of the world that I was created to have dominion. But the world I'm living in, I ain't winning it. You know, the world is a deceiver. And I find it odd that everything around me and all that surrounds me is bleak. It tells me that I'm weak. Even though the scripture says I am more than a conqueror, why do I feel so defeated? I feel like Adam and Eve when they were forced to leave. It's hard for me not to perceive to affect what I believe. How can my voice be heard in this world when everyone wants to silence us? I'm trying to find and search for my life's purpose in the midst of random acts of violence. They say I'm the head and not the tail. Reality says the latter. I mean, let's be real. Should I really have to tell you that my life matters? I try to believe in my purpose. But the world says I deserve this. And it's not just me and my kind. It's mankind. I can't be blind about it. Because fear and hate don't discriminate. Do you remember the song, um, Let's Get Back to Eden and Live on Top of the World? Let's Get Back to Eden and Live on Top of the World. I'm wondering if that's because the world we live in today just isn't safe anymore. You know, I, I always wanted to see the city of light. And now, that city just went completely dark. So I started California dreaming. And then that turned into a nightmare. You know, I thought God said he had the whole world in the palm of his hand. God, I'm just trying to figure out where. When you're the one deciding to be feeling rejected, Connected. Look, I'm trying to hold on to God's promises and walk in the kingdom way. How do you tune out the noise of the world so you can hear what God has to say? When everything around you looks dark and gray, there's only one way. You pray. You pray. You pray. Let us pray. Our Father. Which means I'm your creator, your God, your protector. Who art in heaven. My position is so high up that I can see everything that is going on and still see you in the midst of it. <laughs> Hallowed be thy name. My name is great. Greater than anyone or anything that seeks to do you harm. Thy kingdom come. My kingdom. 
the kingdom that I envisioned and created before there was one drop of water in the sea. There's more about that coming. Thy will be done. My will, meaning my purpose for you, which no man can take away from you or from me. In earth. That would be you. The very earth that I breathe life, purpose, and destiny into. You are my living, breathing will, and my will shall come to pass. As it is in heaven. Just like I rule over heaven and my will goes forth, so shall it be in you, my greatest creation. Give us this day. This is the day that I have made. Every day that you wake up is the day that I have given you. Our daily bread. And in that day, I have carved out a portion of sustenance just for you, to get you through. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. You all will fall short. Let no man divide you and make you feel like your fellow man is unworthy of the forgiveness that I continuously grant you. And know I will always be there by your side. And lead us not into temptation. You don't even have to ask me. But the world around you is a very deceiving and tempting place. But deliver us from evil. When evil surrounds you on every side, just know all is not lost. I will deliver you out of the hands of the enemy. For thine is the kingdom. The kingdom is mine, and I give it to you freely. The power. Stronger than any force that seeks to destroy you. Stronger than anything that seeks to bring you down. Stronger than anything that seeks to separate us. And the glory. My light is always shining, so that you can always find your way to me, even when your road seems dark. Forever. I will always be on your side. And ever. I am always here with you. And ever. I am the Alpha and the Omega. And ever. I knew you before you were formed in your womb, and I will always be here. And ever. And I always will be.